What's going on guys, it's Boy Adoptionism here. Um, bringing you guys a video on a, another uh, Bungie update. We just, uh, I just talked about one, actually it has been almost a week. Um, but yeah, this one is, uh, this, they have it set from yesterday, but uh, I'm, it was probably like late last night. Um, yeah, so uh, they just talk about how it's since Destiny, and, like, for those of us who have played, like, since the launch, you know, like, how just chaotic it's been with the updates and the the server maintenance and all this other shit. And, um, apparently, uh, I believe this was pertaining to the recent update that actually just happened, uh, um, yesterday or today. Uh, it's, yeah, they called it a Thursday date or something. I don't know. It's fucking weird. But, um, yeah, and this one, they're, I mean, the main discussion in here, they have a couple, but the main one that they talk about is actually Iron Banner 2.0. Uh, and they said, Lord Saladin is poised for a return to the tower. This time, his reappearance will be intentional. Uh, after a surprise ambush during what was supposed to be his, uh, sabbatical, uh, we sent him packing again. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Um, work left on, K realized his new potential, blah, blah, blah. All right, you, you guys don't want to hear about like this. Then they were doing like testing in the lab and then all this other shit. So here's confirmation of everything you'll need to know if you, if you are to prosper in the new, improved, and exceedingly dangerous Iron Banner. And then the, the topic part for it until the bullet note starts is called Power Does Matter. And then in parentheses, they have no really, so it's pretty funny. Um... All right, so yeah, there's quite a few. Let's get this going. All right, so only players level 20 and above can lead a fire team, but players that are below level 20 can accompany them. Um, players within three levels can be competitive with each other, meaning that, like, say, like, I'm level 30 on my hunter, uh, down to, like, a level 27 is uh, where we'd still be pretty even. Um your defense ratings affect how you take damage, so definitely when it comes to um, your defense rating, so like 1463, um, that's my defense rating for my hunter. I don't know if it's the same as every character on level 30, but um, so yeah, so that's going to play a big part now, like they said it was originally supposed to do. Um, wear your best or higher, highest rated armor, so yeah, keep that in mind. Um, your attack ratings affect how you inflict damage. So, say if, uh, like how that says, 267 out of 300, if I were to completely max this thing out, then it would do the, the max damage that it's intended to do. So, that's good. Um, equip your best, okay, again, equip your best, highest rated weapons. Lower level players wielding fully upgraded weapons should still be considered a very credible threat. Okay, so they're pretty much insinuating. I th I, I'm hopefully if I'm getting this right, because they uh, obviously they kind of leave a big blank open sheet here. Um, lower level people that if you're like four levels lower than me or something, then I should be able to bitch slap you. But who knows? We'll actually figure out how it really works when we get in there. And then it says, uh, claim victory to gain reputation. All right, Lord Saladin has five ranks to obtain through victory. Your previous Iron Banner rank has been preserved. Okay, the tempered buff is a 12-hour boost in reputation gains. Active tempered later during the event to catch up faster. So that's pretty cool. So the first 12 hours of the Iron Banner, you're going to, um, uh, you're going to, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, tournament thing that I'm hosting popped up. Uh, but yeah, so the first 12 hours you're going to have an increased boost, and then after that it's going to go back to normal, and then probably they might do like the last 12 hours of the Iron Banner is going to be, again, an, an, another boost. Uh, but more exclusive Iron Banner rewards. Increase your rank to unlock better gear. Then there's a reforge. Uh, option when it comes to the weapons, okay, to reset your progression with new perks, meaning, um, like, again, let me go back to here, granted, this is legendary, but, um, like, how there's these ones right here, and, like, some of these other ones, like, Firefly, and some of these other ones, I would be able to reforge these, like, say, if this was a Iron Banner weapon, I would be able to reforge these and completely switch them to where these, 
these ones will be completely different. They won't be the same. Uh, so that's really cool. And then you can earn gauntlets and boots to move you closer to level 30. And then it says you got to see Lord Saladin for details, obviously. But uh, he's not in yet because Iron Banner, the area is closed up there. Um, okay, and then quitters never win. Reputation gains are only awarded to winners. Um, defeat uh, grants you a token to be redeemed for a future win. Uh, you can carry up to five iron medallions at any time, which I believe those are the token. Th that's what the tokens are called. And so uh, you turn, or yeah, you get all like if you go on a four or five like lost streak or whatever, you get that those. And then when you finally get a win, all of those will be converted into reputation. So that would be really cool. Okay, partial reputation gains are earned instantly upon victory. Okay, and then the last one is strike while the iron is hot. Your reputation, w for this one, it will be reset at the conclusion of Iron Banner. Like any competitive activity, each new event is a chance to regain your standing. Sound good? Feeling brave? Good? Be at, re be at the ready. Okay, we promise this. Blah, blah, blah. Stay tuned for more updates. And, um, yeah, and then the next part is actually... Uh, what I'm going to say for the next video because it's actually something really awesome, really important. But yeah, guys, I really hope, the, really hope this helps uh, inform you guys. And uh, I mean, that's actually probably giving me more of an incentive to try out Iron Banner this time and, and actually get back into it because I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty lately. But um, yeah, I again, guys, I really hope this helps you guys out. Please, again, uh, if you want to like just recap on the video or go check out the uh, Destiny forums. And um. Yeah, guys, please uh, stay tuned. Don't just... <sighs> oh, God, this weekend's going to be good. But yeah, until next time, this has been your boy Dot. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Adoptionism. The link is down in the description below. Oh, boy, that's a mouthful. And uh, yeah, again, guys, I really hope this helps you out. Until next time, this has been your boy Dot. Wait, I almost forgot. Don't forget to check out Jay. All of his stuff, of course, is going to be down in the description as well. But yeah, I guess until next time, this has been your boy Dopt. Peace the fuck out.